Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about patch management with Microsoft Intune. Let's begin. To begin with, we can go back to the software update. And this is where you're going to actually create a base on your rings as well as uh, if you're specific to Windows 10, you can actually create there as uh, Windows 10 specific to update. So this specific blade, uh, when you select that software update uh, for Windows 10, it's going to show you for monthly patch management as well as the OS build update. For example, if you are um, targeted for annual channel or semi-annual channel, it's gonna um, upgrade from one build to another build. Now, you also uh, you can also update the Windows 10, not just the Windows 10, you can also update the uh, iOS devices uh, with specific to um, configuration. Let's uh, concentrate on at uh, this demo for Windows 10 update. Uh, to begin with that, as I said, you know, you can uh, create a new policy and give a meaningful name. Uh, in this case, I'm going to give as, let me give here a meaningful name as uh, update ring uh, and for the monthly patching. So, because I'm going to cover these two things in one ring. And uh, you can check out here and the settings, uh, not for the scope, but in, in the settings, you have different options. To so begin with that, the first one would be the servicing channel. Uh, you need to here uh, understand that servicing channels are the current um, method of upgrading from one version to another version of a Windows build so that you would be false into the uh, supported environment altogether for Windows 10. For example, if you are um, trying to use the old builds, anything on, on 18.03 below, um, actually post to that, uh, I mean, to the 1803 you can use actually semi-annual uh, channel which is under uh, brackets it's mentioned as the targeted but post to that it's not going to support so there is a latest changes uh, which happen so everything is going to be a semi semi-annual channel that's what as per Microsoft now uh, if you think that uh, anything you can you know want to get it for a monthly or fast or slow all that also can be possible so now uh, if we look at uh, furthermore uh, like you know as I said um, semi-annual channel targeted is no more supported if you can you know read here very clearly that this is just for 18, um, 1903 below or any of the channels and once you have upgraded to 1903 of the build you shouldn't be using uh, this specific policy instead you should be using the semi-annual channel now also you have the fast uh, which is a uh, uh, fast and the uh, slow and insider so insider is the pre-release where you're gonna work once the microsoft is released so this is this is a uh, fast and um, insider or, or a preview all these are you know the the two options are specific to the evolution purpose uh, where you're going to test it but in the production in the production you always go for the semi-annual channel uh, if you're working from 1903 onwards if you are um, prior to the 1903 it's gonna uh, semi-annual channel target it maybe but from the 18 uh, from 1903 you should be using the semi-annual channel now <clears throat> Now you have the different options like Microsoft uh, product update. So this is nothing but uh, it's going to update the uh, features of uh, those uh, specific updates. So if you're specific that, you know, you can choose that as well as the Microsoft um, drivers. So basically, if you can, you know, look at the first one and the second one, it's nothing but the, the first one is the Microsoft update, uh, updates, product updates, which is nothing but you are doing, you're enabling the Windows update on the client machines. That's what, uh, or wherever this policy gets applied, that's what it's it means to. So you to enable the Windows update, you would be selecting Microsoft updates as LO. Now coming back to the drivers update, if you want to LO the drivers, uh, then you would be selecting Windows drivers specific option. And also you have the uh, quality update uh, differential period, um, which is actually you can um, differentiate anything between uh, immediate to uh, 30 days means uh, you, 
if you don't want that specific update to be applied you can differ similarly the feature updates also you can differentiate uh, between anything from 0 to 365 days which is one year and similarly feature update uninstallation this is uh, like you want to uninstall some kind of update uh, which has been already installed on the client machine and you are planning to uninstall in that situation it's gonna because of uh, because of uh, could be something went wrong with that specific patch of the installation and you are you want to uninstall that specific patch then you are allowing up to 10 days of the time post so that you can't uninstall even because it's going to be a mandatory so some or other way it's again going to push that specific patch so it's recommended that you know at least we need to you know give some value uh, and also you have the user experience this is where how the user experience for the uh, reboot for example um, you don't want to notify or you want to uh, you want to notify them just for the restarts along with the maintenance window schedule time or you want to define some uh, specific maintenance uh, window based on these notifications below so let's have a look on it for example auto install and auto restarted maintenance time auto install restarted schedule time so you also have all these options so what I'm gonna do is here active hours I'm gonna define here as uh, 8 to 5 p.m. that means 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. between my users are gonna work so during that time I'm not going to install any patches that's what my active hours post to that these patches these above configuration what we have done so far will be applied and will be starts installing so let's um, configure and that specific settings now let's uh, go back to the restart checks this is a very interesting uh, setting where uh, you have an option to check for or validate whether the battery is at least a 40% is available before you go for the patching and if the user is in a presentation more maybe he could be in a meeting and he may be running some kind of a game mode or phone call state or maybe in a full screen by presenting in that situation it's not gonna patch it so you want to you know allow that restart checks uh, to happen so that um, that would uh, gives more value to the end user so you can uh, always uh, configure as a low so that it's going to validate all these specific settings now uh, block uh, other users also we're going to you know check it which is nothing but the uh, let's 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 also check for the block uh, uses for the uh, pausing uh, windows updates that means users are not allowed or uh, it's going to block uh, for the user uh, users are going to pass it basically the specific setting by using this like users whether uh, enables users to pause the windows updates or not uh, this specific setting uh, would uh, required uh, kind of you know pause settings if they wanted to you know pause as end user and coming back to the uh, users uh, are gonna you know block uh, for the scanning so if a user try to scan it's if you want to you know, block it you can always block that specific uh, setting like uh, users don't want to uh, you're not allowing users to uh, scan that means it's going to be uh, scanned by Microsoft Intune and uh, coming back to the nether uh, the settings uh, require users approval to restart outside of the work hours if uh, if you want to configure that specific setting it's gonna ask for whether users have to be you know allowed to uh, inst or install and restart outside the hours that specific setting and also you also have remind user period to the required auto notification so this is a similar setting like uh, for a pop-up uh, for the end users how many times uh, the reminders should come from within how many hours the number of updates similar settings so the above one i configure is a four hours and the reminder priority uh, for the auto restart with the permission of um, almost you know i'm just configuring here as a 15 or, uh, or whatever the setting i want like here as a 60 minutes now change the notification update level uh, is something uh, you want to configure for the windows updates as a notification you want to turn off turn on all that specific settings can be configured now auto users to restart um, enable so if you want to uh, configure uh, the specific settings once you configure uh, it's going to actually engage the restart settings uh, these specific settings are no longer uh, no longer recommended because uh, these specific settings are covered by the deadline settings which are 
are in the uh, below actually under use a, a deadline settings option so I don't uh, encourage to configure the specific settings for now instead so instead of using these deadline settings um, below uh, we can actually go for the use deadline settings so this is very interesting settings we can apply the use default settings value once you enable it's gonna uh, check for the deadline for the feature update that means if you, if you're trying to upgrade from one build to another build you can give some kind of a deadline for the end users that hey uh, once it once this specific uh, build is available you can you can uh, maybe wait or or the machines uh, allows the users to you know up, update uh, it's like available mode not as a deadline that's what you know the specific setting so you can configure anything from 2 to 30 days uh, between uh, you can configure the specific setting uh, like uh, like this you also have something called deadline uh, quality updates uh, this is for the monthly update uh, configuration if you want to you know uh, do some configuration for the grace period also you can do it auto reboot uh, for the deadline all these specific settings applies as a deadline configuration and uh, this can be you know um, uh, you can also choose the downloaded mode uh, if you want to you know use for the uh, a delivery optimization and this specific settings also can be configured uh, within the uh, within the profiles if you can you know remember the uh, device configuration specific uh, profiles also can be configured but this specific setting earlier it used to be available here but now no longer you should be configuring from the profile options in fact we did cover that specific settings in the profile configuration once you have done all this configuration uh, you can save that specific settings and then uh, let me you know not to configure that uh, uh, specific settings which are not available or not recommended as per that so I'm just configure that and use uh, default settings I'm just giving as uh, some value and then um, clicking on ok uh, so that it's gonna uh, it's gonna actually uh, save that specific settings uh, and just uh, let's review as a final and click on create that's gonna create actually a specific value of that uh, uh, case in this case it's going to be created as the uh, the specific ring and now I'm gonna assign so I have done the assignment for the two groups one would be the all Windows 10 device patching other one would be the all uh, Win 10 devices in fact I have the same computers in both the groups um, looks like but you know um, instead of in across validating what are those devices I just added these specific devices and uh, you can check out here the two uh, AD groups which I created uh, for this demo uh, and the members are there should be two only two computers here so that's why I have added and if I look at other group uh, this is a device patching it should be at least the three devices or something like that uh, I don't remember uh, properly yeah there are only two devices so I think you know I can use any of them um, for my testing purpose now um, I think that's the uh, group another group which I've created for just for the 1803 mission specific because 1803 specific updates if you're trying to push out for the feature update you must have to choose at the semi-annual targeted which is in a bracket that's what we discussed uh, in the uh, in this video lecture so that's why I just created 1803 specific uh, just the one machine which is PC half and JG so uh, I would create a different altogether uh, specific uh, update group um, of or the um, or the policy and then uh, that specific update ring I would assign for this specific group that was my plan uh, but let's validate uh, the specific uh, bill number uh, by searching here and if you're going to uh, search it it just takes to the support website of Microsoft uh, inside that you can find out in the left side there should be showing as the 1803 specific yes if you see here in the left side Windows 10 version 1803 update history and this is you know all covered all these specific uh, fixes and other information you can check out here 1803 was clearly mentioned so that operating system is 1803 which is nothing but PC hyphen JJ um, that's just wanted to you know, explain later point if at all we use uh, that specific uh, operating system it will be used so let me go back to the devices and check out PC hyphen uh, on premises uh, this specific application I have already applied and uh, updated the sync now the policy is clearly synced up 
as the update rings monthly patching is completed uh, i mean it's uh, successfully evaluated that specific policy now i logged into a 1903 machine uh, in this case and i'm going to show you, you know what's going on in this machine uh, since we already verified from the client from the intune side the policy has been completely completely evaluated because i did sync already uh, and i've not covered that part but just synced up uh, within the uh, console and now when I open up here because this is already you know a pre-recorded one because of the it's a lengthy of the video I don't want to make it very lengthy I just wanted to show you how the client side experience will be uh, for the client now uh, if you can see here I did actually pass the complete uh, VM just to show you enough know, while it is trying to install the update so uh, that's why uh, it was asking me to you know, give a retry but let's uh, not you know limit to that retry but you know we, we will be uh, clicking on the retry later point but few of the options are also have modified for example the, this active hours has been completely modified to uh, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and um, because uh, because my current time is 9 um, uh, 44 uh, a.m. So I don't want I, don't, I can't wait you know till the 5 p.m. So instead I just modified in the policy the active hours and I can show you here the change active hours also completely effective um, as per the policy settings. I'm just clicking on the retry now the updates will start uh, applying it uh, and once it is applied how uh, you know it's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna uh, switch to the full mode uh, so that I can show you in a better way and um, that's the uh, that's a plan now if you can you know look at the view configured updates uh, policies which I'm gonna show you in the uh, in the full mode uh, let me switch back to the full mode and then we can talk about view configured update policies which are which are actually uh, let me show you here by going to the start uh, settings and then uh, go to the accounts or oh, sorry to the updates and security and from there um, if you can you know look at in these configured update policies uh, this is like uh, you can uh, get uh, get to know that you know these are the policies set on your devices for example auto install active hours um, all these specific settings has been configured throughout our uh, policy or update rings uh, which we have configured and if you want to know um, more about how these uh, are gonna apply any a workflow a method or the XML format just click on that specific link it's gonna take you to the Microsoft documentation uh, which explains in a, uh, a better way uh, for the uh, flow where how the device is actually gonna apply or gonna check it uh, what happens from the MDM server and the client side whether for the reboots it can be or it can be a policy evolution or it can be uh, all the settings which you configure uh, would be you know, explained in this specific article uh, specific to the device updates and also you have the uh, policies all these policy values are specific and these values also would be um, uh, very clearly explained in that article so this is all about the uh, client side experience I would uh, put into this way and if you are uh, if you want if you have any problems you can always you know uh, enforce the policy by going to the accounts access for profile like select your account and go to the more information and click on sync that would actually you know uh, gives you the more information but you can check out here in my case I have already update uh, got the policy as updates also so that's why um, this happened uh, all the entire patching has been you know went very smooth